that's probably a good thing. That's probably a good thing to, to have happened just now. Sweet. Never been that easy. Going mud now. So I watched the video. And the reason the edge is all donkered, whether or not you can see it, is because you have to first break the surface tension by putting wet epoxy on it and then when more epoxy rolls over it it'll roll over in like a smooth even motion as opposed to just you know individual fingers and drippings um, you get kind of a consistent run of fingers that run all together like you can I'm not even so yeah so you can see so yeah, if you don't break the surface tension by putting, then that's what you get. It's not as bad on the front. But the way I decided, I kind of want to, all my coffee pots and everything are all kind of industrial metal. So I think I'm going to take a, I think I'm going to get some galvanized, either some galvanized or some black, or maybe even some red, or maybe even some black and red, I'm not sure. Uh, strips, metal, metallic to go across the front um, and either glue them on or just rivet them in you know, or you know screw them in but make it you know like or bolt it in I don't know you know like make it look like rivet looks I don't know or it's an idea I mean, either way if I don't do that then I'm gonna we just won't focus so close like I, don't, I can't fix it right I mean even another flood coat you're still gonna see that underneath so some delicious sliders we are and I told the old lady I said I said pick up some good cheeses and uh, and and she did oh my goodness we got some Belagosi sharp provolone and some uh, milk of the kitty extra manure and some uh, wildcat uh, university cheese and some uh, I guess this cheese will get us drunk and then uh, oh, a little bit of a little bit of the old red apple apple smoked cheddar cheese, your friggin' best <laughs> of Wisconsin. How you doing? Crafted, it's crafted in Wisconsin it was. So we're about to make some delicious sliders. I was gonna record this, but I was so busy talking to my wife after I hadn't seen her in days and weeks and months and years because she was too busy making all the money, honey. And uh, so I totally forgot. But yeah, these are uh, these are my world famous sliders that aren't mine that are totally Tim McKenzie's, but. Yeah, I don't know who that is, so I'm just going to say they're mine. Tim, are you watching? Are you watching, Tim? Probably not. Okay, so, uh, yeah, back when old, back when old Timothy, old, uh, old Sideways himself, back when he ran a catering business, uh, he turned me on to this delicious Russ Apostles. Russ Apostles. And, uh, I'm not 100% sure I got it right. Because... I can't find it anymore, even though I had it written down at one point. But at any rate, it's uh, some some meat. I got 90-10. You don't want too fatty, um, but you don't want like no fatty. And I got a pepper of each variety, or of the red, yellow, and green variety, and a red onion, all chopped up. And I got some salt and some papar, and I need some more papar because. Uh, I need some more papar and I'm gonna put a couple of eggs in there to keep everything sticking together and I got a slightest bit of Montreal steak seasoning just because I'm addicted to it and it's delicious like crack and uh, I got a little bit of onion powder and then we're gonna form them in together in little slider patties uh, big enough to fit some ciabatta buns some ciabatta buns and some onion ciabatta buns and uh, then we're going to sear them. We're going to sear them over high heat. Flip them over. Other side for like, you know, a minute or two per side. 
and then we're going to uh, we're going to put them in an oven, 400 degrees, for about 20 minutes until the juices run clear, and they temp at 160, and they're going to rest them for five minutes, and then we're going to put some of that delicious cheese varieties we had on them, and then we're going to eat them up, nom noms, and I'm going to make a Thousand Island style type of type of sauce, condiment sauce, a little bit of mayo, a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of mustard, mix it up. Squirt that on. I don't have a squirter, but oh, look, you can see my reflection in the bowl. Hi, hi, everybody. Um, yeah, and then it's gonna be delicious. A little bit of spoon, a little bit of dollop of that, a little bit of how you doing, a little bit of nom, and then we're doing shish kebabs tonight. So it's just gonna be the gorgeousity of the gorge, 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 gorge it, gorge it all, gorge the food, get it into your body, go. So they come out looking all Frankensteiny. Put some cheese on them towards the end, whichever kind you like, let it melt down. And then you spoon some, spoon some of your, your mayo and mustard and ketchup mix onto some ciabatta buns, and you put a few pickles on there, and you put your patty, and oh my goodness, delectably delicious! I believe I'll have another. Right, what we've got here is three six by sixes, and we have one more right here. Now, how about two foot in length, give or take? And we are going to attempt to. Create a platform in which to salvage our patio fire heater. I, I went from Australian to... I don't, I don't even know what. Alright, let's do that. It would be awesome if you didn't do accents. Cause you suck at them, yeah you do. Cause you suck at them, yeah you do. As you can see, I have one hole dug already. Not sure how deep it is. I just come out with my measuring tape. I need to get a plumb bob or a level, both. And uh, commence to digging three more holes and finishing off that one if need be. Not sure when I lost you, but uh, yeah, there you go. She ain't going nowhere. I mean, I guess if a tornado comes, she's going somewhere, but barring that, barring some super high winds, she ain't going nowhere. Um, I mean, I probably really ought to unscrew it. Oh, sorry, you like that? Fingers right in the frame. How you doing? I probably ought to unscrew it, take it off, unscrew at least that middle board. And put in, you know, put in some extra, that's just screwing through this. The back two pieces are totally like through a support board that's going underneath the cross. This front one is just in the top board. So I probably ought to reinforce that, but it's fine for now. And go ahead and clean up and, uh, man, imagine how pretty it would be if I'd have done this when I first got it. This one's just cattywampus like a son of a gun. Crushed there, like it's wearing a freaking pimp hat. And then the whole, the whole thing is swivelly. I think I can tighten these bolts up a little bit. But yeah, that's, uh, that's what you get for letting the wind take it down. But yeah, I should have done that initially. I was able to mostly fill my hole with that bucket of dirt. Gonna need more, but yep. At the start, and I think this is the first thing I've built that I didn't make sure was square. And it's not square, it's an inch off square. It's slightly cattywampus that way and slightly cattywampus that way. But you know, the naked eye can barely tell. And I couldn't care less, because I mean, if I wanted to do it, I would have, right? I just wanted to get it 
put up and get that screwed down so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay, okay. I desperately need to purchase another colander. But since I don't have one, that'll have to do. So once my kitchen's clean, or finished rather, and clean, I apologize. Okay, got the loose potatoes, got my lemons and limes, and my oranges, I'm soaking my bamboo skewers, and, uh, and yeah, I'm about to put those potatoes on the boil. Definitely have to build a spice rack, an under cabinet spice rack, because I'm just real sick and tired of digging for herbs and spices, which I know I have. that in a little bit so we'll put that to the side I couldn't find any fresh rosemary so it sucked but we'll use dried a couple of a couple of leaves escaped me but I'm not sure there's much I can do about it so we're already in with the garlic Four garlic cloves, two tablespoons of rosemary, fresh preferably, half teaspoon salt, uh, one half teaspoon freshly ground pepper, a couple tablespoons balsamic vinegar, a tablespoon Dijon. quarter cup olive oil definitely don't get out your big bottle definitely do it like this and empty your whole thing and wait 25 minutes oh my god two tablespoons freshly squeezed lemon juice damn it if you actually have a squeezer then you don't risk getting a lemon seed into your mix or if you're real good at the upside down squeeze method. Apparently neither of which is me. Alright, that should be that. Okay, then uh, cube up a pound of steak. And trim the fat. Or trim the fat and cube up a pound of steak. However you do it. And about one inch cubes or so. I mean, this is two strips. I don't have a clue how close it is to a pound. I got two more strips in the fridge. If it doesn't look like it's enough, I'll cut up those two. Yeah, I think we can have a stand more steak in there. New York strips, about perfect. Okay, we're gonna uh, cover this and marinate it for two hours. Okay, we've got a uh, one orange, one lime, and one lemon that all have to be zested and juiced, and then discarded. Four cloves of minced garlic, but this one—I can't say minced minced garlic, but this one's huge, so I'm gonna use three, or it's just kind of mutated together, one of the two, and. Uh, Half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of ground pepper, quarter cup soy sauce, quarter cup canola oil, and well, that's it. Plus the chicken. Let's do that. To be fair, I've never I've never zested a lime. Is that a uh, is that how it's supposed to look?
you very much for having me. And let me tell you, if you got a cut on your thumb, this feels amazingly good. Oh my goodness. So good. So is the leaves. Am I supposed to pull these off and cut them up and stuff? It says one tablespoon. I'm gonna guesstimate on that. And probably use less because it's like so licorice -y, right? Hey Google, put soy sauce on my grocery shopping list. And a quarter cup of canola. It's the same thing, one pound of skinless, boneless chicken breast cut into one inch cubes. Okay, now that gets covered and set in for two hours. Okay, now the shrimp. Three garlic cloves, minced, two shallots. And apparently they're quite juicy, so be careful. One bay leaf, two tablespoons fresh thyme. I don't have any of that. So I'm going to use one tablespoon of dried thyme. I want two tablespoons freshly squeezed lemon juice, but it's too hard since I'm on a squeezer, so I can use good lemon juice. One teaspoon red pepper flakes. One quarter cup olive oil. One quarter cup fresh. Italian parsley, fresh chopped Italian parsley. I couldn't find that either, so I'm just going to use this here bottle of dried parsley. It's probably about a third quarter cup. I'm going to whisk that together. And we're going to put in one pound of uh, deveined and peeled shrimp. And I probably should have thought them out. That would have been smart. Yeah, I think I'll attempt to do that. And then we're gonna put those in there, marinate them up, wrap them, and do that for two hours. Refrigerate those for two hours. I was chilling a bar one late one night and somewhere down in Soho or something. In and a werewolves of London. What? Oh, I saw a werewolf with a Chinese menu in his hand. Walking through the streets of Soho in the winter. Lee Ho, folks. Ah woo! Ah woo! Ah woo! Werewolves of London. Ah woo! Heard him around the kitchen door. Werewolves of London. Oh, better not let him in. Oh, not mutilated. Oh, my goodness. Werewolves of London again. Oh. I They've got some funky colors. I don't think it's good. I'm going to toss that one. Okay. I'm making an executive decision. Okay. Mommy, a crawfish. He'll rip your lungs out, Jim! Huh! I I you should call in to work tonight and you can stay here and have kebabs! That would be way better. Gonna have to make it an executive stay home decision. I have to have some kebabs with my man. I apologize. What? That is true. Dude, I'm sorry. Housewives have harder jobs than... Like, I ain't getting paid for this at all. This is just all love. I mean, I know I get to live here and stuff, but... Good Lord. That looks disgusting. Alright. 
Wrap it up, two hours.